Uh, we can get interest. That's chance. That's fine. Really, is not a great time to be part of the intelligentsia because their leaders have a, a habit of disappearing for whatever reason. Not my fault, but it's someone's fault, and I'm not going to ask questions at the moment because I don't want to be next. Browse in court, or we could muzzle them. The whole muzzle thing. There we go. Who'd have thought that when they realized people were disappearing or disagreeing, they stopped disagreeing? Now I feel like a tyrannical overlord. Oh, the United States is trying to make us enemies. Thank you, sir. I know how the history of these conflicts go, and it never ends well for me. This is an alternate history, and we're going to do things much better. Hopefully. Uh, still don't want to get in conflicts with major powers. Thank you, sir. Just like when I crash the Austrian market... We could humiliate them. Oh, wow. Hold on. What? Why is the East... Why are you allied with the East India Company? Beat you so badly that you felt the need to get involved with each other? I... Okay, whatever. You do you, Austria. The way things are. Okay. Crocodiles again. Hey, man. Two times. Really just a... a Dealing, good at dealing with crocodiles. Don't know why. Don't know where he's trained, but good for him. Seriously? We got 50 units and you land with four? What the heck? I hate this. <laughs> Mutiny? Where? We're not on an expedition. Guess some people got left behind and thought we were still doing things. But in reality, no, we had finished an expedition a few months ago. But they sent back news, so I guess we'll send a letter back saying, Hey, the uh, expedition's over. Come on back. Arms the Americans? Goodness. Flying weapons to the Americans? What kind of topsy-turvy world are we living in? That America needs more than they currently have access to. Just weird. What's wrong with this guy? Oh, he's got expensive taste, and he's a cocaine... I think one kind of shows the other. I don't know about you, but this is kind of one of the more expensive uh, available hobbies of this current era. So, it's not surprising what they're saying. Okay, we're back today with some more Victoria 3. It's been a minute. I say a minute, it's been a day since I last played. That's how these daily streams go. So, his government ideology penalty. That's a very, very useful tooltip there, game. I do know, in fact, what those words mean individually, but I'm wondering what they'd mean together. Oh, you... Return back to base. Still fighting our war. What are you thinking? That's going to take a two-month journey to send you out there. Really just didn't want to participate, so he decided to uh, think of whatever excuse worked. I'm probably the monster considering all the colonizing I'm doing. But the fact that I've been in a non-stop war for about three years because all the natives that have been uprising up against me might tell me something about myself. But it's just beginning to get a bit irritating. Time is paused. Sitting here wondering what was happening and why nothing was going on. Turns out I'm just dumb. Now, push on, or we can wait for nightfall. We're pushing on. Bad idea. Well, I'm full of those, don't you worry. Colonies we can establish? Yep. We can. Ah, because it's currently rocking near impassable... You think they would have built the colony, you know... Not in the middle of the actual desert, but maybe along kind of some more decent lands. Instead, nope, they, they put themselves right in the middle of the desert where they know they can't access any allies. Because they're dumb. Okay, two weeks, one week, fourth, nearly up to 300 million GDP. I just a monster. Once the engine gets rolling, it's really just unstoppable. The reason why I don't find playing these big nations so difficult at all is within 
what was it, 20 years of just the, the three, four, or the four hour stream I had initially. I was number two GP. This is the second four hour stream. We're number one GP. Actually, we're number two GP again. Oh, we've lost some bonuses. But our economy is the strongest in the world, and it's not going down at all. So, yeah, it, it's too easy. Too easy in my eyes. Go ahead and save the game, because apparently our neighbors, not so neighborly. Good news is we just finished building up our military, so we can go uh, give them the old pew-pew and see if they have any objections to their uh, stance at that point. Ah, we have a pre-FTL civilization over here. I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna take the Earthlings. I'm going to bring them into my empire as a species under my rule, like everyone else, like the Vol. Not great wording for it, but we're not gonna worry about it. Okay, new elections, same person's going to be elected. Not a whole lot of democracy going on. I guess they really like this leader, but considering they've won four elections in a row... You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Fine. Four. What was the name of that... Oh. Hold on a second. The Aber Abyib is the name of that... Okay. Never had their. I, I guess the thought is, whenever the enemies see to come across their reports, they'll look at them and they go, that's got to be made up. There's no way they have that kind of technology. And we can just ignore it and move on. That's what I'm going to think. That's what I'm going to go with. Age 70. My goodness, you're really getting up there in age. Construction complete. Luckily, you started at age. You're go as a leader of our galactic unit at age 20. Otherwise, you would have had some real issues. Yes. Oh, we've got two Escont Primes. Oh. Rename you Escont Prime 2. Yes, perfect. So we have Prime and I guess... No, no, no. It, sh it should be Prime, not 2. It should be Escort Prime and Escort Prime-er. Okay, perfect. Exactly what makes sense. Okay. I get that there's promising offices, and this is probably makes sense if it's a battle. We were attacking an asteroid... How do you stand out when dealing with the asteroid? You shout out at the rock in an angry manner to motivate your people? I I have no idea, but he's very good at dealing with rocks and apparently deserves a position because of it. Oh, you want peace on the status quo? No. I'm going to destroy you. You started this war. I was content to just expand my empire in peace, but no, we had to fight. We had to do battle, and it's your fault this is happening to your empire. So now it is time you suffer. Thanks for watching. You should watch another. Please?